welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim, your host, and I do these videos in order to try to convey to you, the average person, what it's like to experience certain types of chronic illness pain. Now, in the first video, we concentrated on Crohn's, and this week, we're going to talk about fibromyalgia. This one's a little bit more challenging, because unlike Crohn's, there's no real visible evidence of fibromyalgia. There's nothing happening inside that really shows up on CAT scans or x-rays. It's similar in the feeling to arthritic pain, but it's not the same as arthritic pain because there's no real inflammation going on that's causing damage to you know, muscle fibers. There's a couple different levels of pain for fibro. There's the deep down pain, it feels like you went to the gym for hours. And then there's the uh, uber sensitive skin pain that's sensitive to the touch. And that tends to focus even more so around the joints. Like this video is probably a better illustration of what I'm trying to get across here. Take a look. So, as illustrated in that video, it's very painful. There's more to it than just that. You have the chronic headaches that go with it. There's debilitating exhaustion. And we're not just talking about, oh, I didn't sleep good for a few hours last night. I'm kind of tired today. No, we're talking about waking up and feeling like you just swam the first leg of a triathlon. You're just wiped out. It's horribly debilitating. It wrecks you. And so you get all these symptoms, and then of course there's the triggers. Fibro is just like a lot of other diseases where there are certain things that can set off a flare, like this list. Take a look at this. It's ridiculous how general it is, though. You've got cold or humid weather can trigger it. Too much or too little physical activity can trigger it. Stress, poor sleep, and of course, as you review this list, you might realize that all of these are side effects of the disease itself, so you really are caught up in this horrible, vicious cycle of pain. It just doesn't end. And again, there's no one-size-fits-all treatment. There's no cure for this. Different people have different results with diets, exercise or not exercise, or this medication or that. The bottom line is there's a long way to go before we find out what really causes fibro, and years to go before we're carrying it. If you know someone who has this disease, stop with the helpful suggestions, stop trying to fix them, just be there for them, be a support for them, and understand that they are going through more pain every hour of every day than hopefully you will ever experience in your life. And just treat them with the same respect you would give someone who was walking around with a knife sticking out of their leg. I mean, you would look at that and say, oh God, that's painful, that must really hurt. Well, people with chronic illnesses are in that much pain all the time without the benefit of having the knife sticking out for people to see. So just try to remember that. So that'll do it for this edition of Feel This Pain. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn more about society's indifference, if not outright derision for people with chronic illnesses, I invite you to watch my 32 minute video, The Slow Death of Compassion for the Chronically Ill, which you can also find right here on my YouTube channel. Send me your questions, ken at don'tpunishpain.com. Visit my website there to keep up with my blog. And that's it. Until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.